Well, I'm about 45 minutes early. I'm going to do the same thing as last week. I'm going to bounce a fire tiger swim bait on the bottom in the dark. When the sun comes up, I'm going to uh, throw a gold spoon, and when the gold spoon bite stops, I'm going to swap to a rattling shrimp under a popping cork. So back to Port Sulphur, spec fishing on top of an oyster reef. Let's see if uh, we can pull some in today. Got something in the dark there. Looks like a little speck. Oh, he, yeah, he's he's going to be a throwback, I think. Let's see how we start the day here. I don't know. He might make 12. Got to keep these 12 inch specks before the end of the year because the, the rule is going to change. Oh, I think he's too little. What do we got? Come here, come here. Oh, that's a big white trout. Hmm. Huh. He would be legal if he was a speck, he wouldn't. I'm not going to keep any white trout. I'm going to wait and see what the day brings. Well, I stayed over an hour on that swim bait, and all I got was one white trout. I'm going to a quarter ounce gold spoon as the sun comes up here. Let's see what we can do with the spoon. I think I finally got a keeper trout. Took all morning. I saw a little bit of action back here in the canal. Oh, yeah, get in the boat. Oh, yes. Maybe I'm in the wrong spot all damn morning. That's a beauty. That's a keeper under the new rules. I'm going to do like I did last week. I'm going to try to get my bait back out to settle down while I ice it down. That's a giant white trout. I'm not catching many fish today, so I'm going to go ahead and keep him. Ice him down real good. And... Under. Look the other way and the cork is under and it's uh, another white trout. You know what? Might be a white trout fishing day. Keep him too. What the heck? I threw one back early this morning. It was bigger than that one. That was on a gold spoon. I always say this little point right here is good for one fish. I actually just hooked another one and I didn't want to turn the camera on and get slack in my line. Well, yeah, he's easy to help. Man, that's a big old white trout. Man, that's a, that's a monster for a white trout. That's crazy. I'll keep them today. Threw a big white trout back this morning before I knew what kind of day it was going to be. <laughs> Man, something huge just come up and hit. I think it's a big black drum. Might be a big red, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, a monster. I was going to this little cut up here. I kept seeing a bunch of bait hitting in it. Might be a big nasty black drum. Oh, 
<laughs> Always looking for that one good fish that'll salvage your day. Don't know what it is. Holy crap, he is huge. I want to get into some speck action. Oh, it's a big bull red crap. I think I might keep them too because I'm looking for some red fish for Kumion. This will give me all the meat I need. I would have loved to have had a, a shot of when he come up. I actually saw him come sideways and tag my bait. This one. Oh man, I don't know. He might be just. He is a big one. I say all the time, you just need one fish to salvage your day. I wish I could have filmed the strike when I saw him come up and hit. That alone salvaged my day. <laughs> oh my gosh. You gotta watch these big boys, they'll actually They'll actually flip your boat when you go to bring them in. Come on, buddy. Let me see what you look like here. Hooked right in the corner of his mouth. Look at the size of this red, y'all. Big male drumming. I don't think I'm gonna keep him because he won't fit in my box. But just think of the meat that's on this bad boy. Unbelievable. I want some redfish for some cuvion, but man, just think of the breeder that big boy is. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted to set up and troll, see if I can locate some fish. But I saw some minnows jumping and I threw out there and I hooked into that bull red. <laughs> Got a lot of bait on the surface in the pond. Let's have a thunk. He's on. So once I get a hook up, I just turn the rudder right into him. might keep. The last one was kind of little. I had more line out than I thought. Oh yes, oh yes. And he ruined my fire tiger. I'll go one for one. Fish for a fish for a lure though. Keep respect, bleeding like crazy. Just hooked the keeper with the camera off. Just hooked another one. Let's see if we can keep this one on. Feels pretty good too. Oh yeah, definitely a nice fish. 
We gotta get him in the boat. Yes, sir. Very nice fish. The only bad thing about trolling, it kinda kinda hooks him down, so you gotta That one hit it two or three times, so. I tried that popping cork with the rattling shrimp and I had takedowns on my first two casts. See if I can get a fish on it on camera. Ooh, yes, and I think I can. I look like a keeper too, in the boat, in the boat. He ruined my bait, dog nabbit. Dog nabbit. These things are just tearing up all my baits today. Feels like he's got a little size to him. It's hard to say though. He was on for quite a while. Oh yeah, it's a nice keeper. Oh, that's a big white trout. Damn. got a few. I might as well keep them if I got a few. They slime me all up too. That's what I need to do. Bounce them on the bottom. Get all these white trout. You know what? We got a bunch of ice and I can really ice them down cold, cold, cold. I think I'm going to keep a few whiteies today. Feels like a decent hookup. Well, yeah, he's gonna make the 12 inch mark. Shoot, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's easy 12. Starting to put a box together. Shoot, he might even make it. He's gonna be close. He's going to be close. Let me throw my line back out. The cork went under instantly. Right there. Let's see what I got here. Oh yeah, he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it easy. So what do we got in the deck chest today? We got ten specks and five white trout. So it did better than I thought. Ten and five. Well, I always say it just takes one good fish to salvage your day, and man, I seen a bull red come up and take my lure from sitting in the kayak and had a fantastic fight with him. I ended up with 10 specks and five big white trout in the death chest. I had to get out today because we got a cold front coming in this evening and two days of high teens in the wind, so Friday should lay down again. I'll try to get back out there. So till the next video, get out there and go fishing.